Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jay Glees here, and the official launch trailer for Aftermath just dropped today. So we're going to take a look at it. Uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about the changes as far as the armor break system uh, that they kind of showed off yesterday in the combat cast. We'll talk about both. Uh, first, let's get into this trailer. Sorcerer. We're in uncharted territory. We've changed this timeline for good. Let us join the armies, massing okay. at the Sea of Blood. So they're all like converging together. Yeah, Fusions in the story too, which is great. We will unleash hell. Yo, the revenants are going ham. <laughs> Without the crown, there can be no new era. Our time for preparation is over. It has begun. Alright, Shiva action. Yo, I love the pit, man. They did such a great job with that. The retro cave was really cool, too, from the combat cast. Look at this level. It's crazy. The backgrounds are, like, fantastic. No gimmicks, just combat. Kill each other. What? Yo, it's like massive war. This reminds me of like Armageddon. The music is great too. We need some of this music in the game, man. What? Right by his face? Yo, he's gonna miss him. Oh, he got him. He got him. Caught him slipping. Oh man, look at us. Blast City. You should have stayed dead. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Robocop somehow is gonna make an appearance in the story. That would be crazy. Oh. Before you do us all. Yo, Shang's got the crown. Oh, look at this. So in the end it looks like Lou's gonna wind up fighting Shang. He's gonna take his power to the next level and probably turn evil again. You know, you always, Shang's always up to something, bro. That's my boy and all, but he's always up to something. That looks really intriguing. I think uh, I think that this is going to be really good, a really good addition to the game. So one of the things also, let's give that let's give that bad boy a like. Uh, one of the things that I also wanted to talk about um, was the breakaway system for the game. So. Let me uh, let me play this again. I'll just put it on uh, put it on mute. So the breakaway system, they're gonna add these armor breaking moves, and I think it's a cool addition. There's a couple things that are worrisome to me when I look at it. A lot of the moves that they showed off either are slow or not real practical. Spawns is is really practical. You can utilize the bat, launch your opponent. Um, it's put you can use it in situations where breakaway is imminent like they're gonna break away at that point or they're not and Putting that bat out there allows you to pop your opponent up and get some uh, real great uh, damage based off of a read So when I was looking at scorpions with the teleport for scorpion, that's usually what you confirm into and you can get out of combo via the breakaway system before you can even down two. There's no way that a back three is going to launch your opponent. The down two, you can launch your opponent, um, you know, and get the back three as you saw in the video that they did on the combat cast. But the thing is, is that most people are not breaking away at that point. You know, I typically will break away when I know that my opponent is going to go for a move with a lot of recovery and try to get a punish, right? So. Typically, you're using the breakaway system in order to alleviate some damage, but in most cases, to advance your offense and create an advantage for yourself. So, I think it's going to be rather hit or miss with each character. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I'm, I'm very skeptical at this point. Obviously, we don't know exactly how it's going to roll. They may implement some other changes where you can only break away at certain points. And, you know, that could completely change everything. Absolutely. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what they come up with. I'm very intrigued. When the, the aftermath does come out and I take a look at the patch and the patch notes, I'll give you guys, you know, a final verdict on what I think. 
Uh, but right now, I mean, it's it's questionable, but we'll see. You know, we'll see what goes down with it. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And I just can't wait for this to drop. So what I want you to do down below, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the Aftermath trailer, what you thought of the combat cast. I think Fujin looked great. I think his visuals are awesome. A little bit worried about the frame data on some of those moves. As you know, they look like specials, but you know, with moves like that, they're oftentimes very high on frame data. Long startups, long recovery. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. You don't know until you get your hands on the character and you actually look at the frame data. Uh, so time will tell. We're kind of like, we have little tidbits, but we can't really fully understand exactly uh, what's going on with each character and how these things are going to play out based off of the new patch that's coming out. But I'm really excited. It's a great time for Mortal Kombat. So again, just leave your comment down below. Let me know what you thought of all this stuff. If you're new, be sure to click that subscribe button so you get updated whenever I post new content. It's Jay Glee signing out and continue to game strong.